Hello guys, I am here with another After Effect tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to make a superb glass effect just like this. Ok, to start with go to Composition, New Composition, rename it as Main Comp. Change its duration to 10 seconds from here, and press OK, you can use any image. But I already have this image in my project, drag image to composition, select image layer and hit S button. Change its size to maybe 220. Make a keyframe by clicking this watch here, now go forward like 2 seconds and scale down this image to 100. Now you can see we have to smooth zooming out animation. Then right click here and go to new, adjustment layer, and rename it as glass effect. Now go to Effects and Presets, and type Transform. Double click on Transform, it will automatically apply on Glass Effect Layer. Make sure Glass Effect Layer is selected before double click on Transform. Now change its scale to 120. and reduce its size like this, so we can have a small rectangle shape. Now check this layer and press our button, change its rotation to minus 27 degree. Now enlarge this rectangle like this. Now check glass effect layer and press P. Then move this layer to left side till out of comp. And make a keyframe about 2 seconds. Now go forward like 4 seconds. And move this layer to right all across the comp. Now we have this layer moving left to right. Now check glass effect layer and go to effects and presets then. Type CC light. Then drag CC light sweep and drop on this glass effect layer. Everything is just fine here. Now drag the center point of light to the center of this rectangle. You can see when this glass effect layer moves, light don't move with it. Solution to this is press this watch icon by holding alt button. Now pick wipe its center to the position of its parent layer, this will generate an expression like transform.position. You can see the light is moving with glass effect layer. Now duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. And uncheck this icon button. Now delete all effects from glass effect 2 layer, and type fill, in effects and presets. Then drag fill on glass effect to layer, change its color to black. Now type CC light, in effects and presets. And double click on CC light sweep, change its direction to 90 degrees. And drag this light to the center point of its parent layer. Change its width to 220. Sweep intensity to maybe 8. 
Edge intensity to 40. And edge thickness to 20. You can see we have a small light effect here. Now duplicate CC light sweep by. Pressing Ctrl plus D, and change its direction to minus 90 degrees. Maybe change sweep intensity to zero. Now click on toggle switches here. And from here, change this layer's mode to screen. Now we have a better glass effect. Bring up positions of these both layers by pressing P. Remove the key frames of glass effect layer. Now hold Alt button and press this watch icon. Pick wipe this position to the position of glass effect layer. Now both layers will move on same position. Now select both layers and right click on it and go to pre-compose, and name it as glass. Now click toggle switches, and check this icon. Then duplicate glass layer and rename it as maybe glass 2. Now double click on glass layer. Then select glass effect layer and press P button. Now trim this comp to working area that is between these two keyframes. Now go to main comp. Move these ribbons forward like this, so glass animation starts a bit later. Move glass effect layer more forward so it can look more attractive. Now right click on glass layer and go to time, then click enable time remapping. Make another keyframe between these two keyframes. Now I am cropping this comp to just the working area. Now select these three keyframes and hit F9 key for easy ease. You can do this by right clicking on it. Then go to keyframe assistance then click on easy ease. Now go to graph mode by clicking this graph icon. Now click this dot and drag it to right like this. Finally, here we have glass effect animation, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.